if you ever find yourself stuck in the middle of the sea, I'll sail the world to find you. If you ever find yourself lost in the dark and you can't see, I'll be the light to guide you. Find out what we're made of when we are called to help our friends in need. You can count on me like one, two, three. I'll be there, and I know when I need it, I can count on you like four, three, two, and you'll be there. Cause that's what friends are supposed to do. Oh yeah. Ooh, 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 yeah, yeah. If you're tossing and you're turning and you just can't fall asleep, I'll sing a song beside you. And if you ever forget how much you really mean to me. Contest. I'm filming about the shelters and animal abuse and stuff like that for the video. And my name is Hannah. I'm in seventh grade at Thoreau Middle School. And what's your name? I'm Kelsey Davis. I'm a student at Missouri s &T. How long have you been a volunteer here? I've been volunteering since the end of August. Why did you choose to be a volunteer? Um, it was an option open to me for my school. And I really like taking care of animals and whatnot, so it's a perfect fit. Um, whenever you're at college and whatnot, it can get really stressful. So coming here helps you wind down a little bit, and just it's a good way to do it. Do you have any shelter pets of your own at your house? Um, my dog, one of my dogs is a shelter pet. Um, we got him in St. Charles, which is where I live, and then my other dog is a rescue dog um, who was abused. So we got him from Boxer Rescue. How do you feel about the shelter overpopulation in, in America? Um, it's really sad. You see a lot of people that are trying to breed dogs excessively, and it's putting in bad traits, and it's just not a good market for them. And then there's really good dogs here that aren't getting homes just because they have a bad stigma to them, especially in pit bulls and boxers and German shepherds that are known as bad dogs, but they're not at all. How many animals do you take in annually? Annually? I have no idea. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> We adopt out anywhere from 80 and 80 percent, by 80 percent to 100 percent of dogs. I think that's cool. Anything you want to add before we close down? You should come adopt some. No, you're fine. Okay, go, Daddy. Okay, who's Go ahead. Now ask him um, to introduce himself. I'm Hannah Robson from Rell Middle School. What's your name? My name is John Redshaw, and I'm the supervisor here at the Raw Animal Shelter. How long have you been a supervisor? I've been a supervisor for about three years now, but I've been at the Raw Animal Shelter for almost 11 years. Why did you choose to be a Raw Animal Shelter volunteer? An animal control officer is because the animals out there can't speak for themselves and they need somebody to do their speaking for them. Uh, we go after the people that abuse animals, neglect animals, and for other reasons don't take care of animals. We pick up uh, a, a large variety of animals a year that are running loose. Uh, we handle dogs, cats, we handle birds, we handle snakes, we handle all kinds of wild animals. Everything comes through this shelter. This, but she didn't know. About how many animals do you take in annually? Approximately 1,500 to 2,000 animals a year. And that's including dogs, cats, wild animals, uh, everything. Do you have any specific information about how to report animal abuse to the shelter? If anybody sees anybody doing anything that they're not supposed to or they think is not right, uh, they might be kicking a dog, they might be hitting a dog, they might be uh, not feeding it, not watering it, it might be uh, 
uh, animals locked in cars during summer months, and animal actually animals locked in cars is considered animal neglect and animal cruelty. Uh, and same being as in the wintertime, it's real cold. If they don't have a dog house for them, or they don't have adequate protection for the animal, that can be constituted as animal cruelty or animal neglect. So, how do you collect money to keep the shelter running? Is it strictly donations? No. Uh, the animal shelter is a division of the City of Rolla Police Department. We're actually two different entities here, if you will. Uh, one, we're the Rolla Animal Shelter, meaning we go in, we, we pick up animals, we adopt animals, we take care of animals. Uh, we do everything we can to help all the animals out there. The second business that we do is uh, basically law enforcement animal control. Anything that has to do with uh, uh, animals being neglected or abused or, or running loose or bite cases, um, we handle. And that's the law enforcement part of it. Do you have any programs open to the public about how to help with the shelter? We do accept volunteers, however, since we're such a small business here, uh, we don't have room for a lot of volunteers. On a daily basis, we take in community service personnel uh, that are basically ordered through the courts to provide community service. And as you met Kelsey earlier, Kelsey is one of our, we actually have four volunteers here. We have Kelsey, uh, we have another young lady that's out on leave for a little while, and we also have two ladies that help us out on Saturdays. So as far as taking a lot of people in here, we don't really have room. Does the Royal Canaan do anything for the shelter? Yes, Royal Canaan donates a lot of dog food and cat food to the Rolla Animal Shelter. Uh, they also donate to our rescue organization, which is called the Phelps County Animal Welfare League. Um, they also get food from Royal Canaan. Uh, but most of our food, we get we get uh, donations from a lot of people, including Royal Canaan. A lot of wonderful citizens out there donate dog food and cat food and cat litter to us, and, and like I said, as well as Royal Canaan does too. How can the public help with donations? We accept donations uh, six days a week, Monday through Saturday from 12 o'clock to 4 o'clock. We take uh, uh, blankets, we take towels, we take dry dog food, dry cat food, uh, cat toys, uh, dog treats, leashes and collars, uh, as well as monetary donations. So basically anything that anybody wants to donate to the animal shelter will gladly accept. Do you have anything to add on? We uh, we just ask that everybody take care of their animals like they're supposed to, uh, have a lot of responsibility, and the biggest, most important thing is to spay and neuter your animals. That will cut down on the overpopulation that most of your shelters see nowadays. Um, we take in, like I said, 14 or 1,500 to 2,000 animals a year. A lot of those are basically because people fail to spay and neuter. Uh, we pick up a lot of kittens during kitten season. We also pick up a lot of puppies during puppy season. And uh, because you, you don't spay and neuter animals, that constitutes for a lot of unwanted animals in the city. Okay? <laughs>
away so easily I'm here to stay and make the difference that I can make And in the end you're still my friend At least we did intend for us to work We didn't break, we didn't burn We had to learn how to bend Without the world caving in I had to learn how to bend 